welcome back. My name is Diana. Thanks for being here. Uh, apologies, I've been kind of MIA lately. I don't want to be. Uh, I was just really sick last month and put off a lot of filming to get better. Today, I would like to reveal to both you and I, because I have not peaked yet, I'm so excited to reveal May Icon Boss. So if you didn't already know, I am going to reveal before I open this up that the Icon Box is always curated by a celebrity of some sort, whether it's a content creator or a makeup artist or an actual celebrity. And this month, this month's box was curated by Patrick Starr. So I believe there are two products um, by one size in here. So the Icon box comes quarterly. So in May, August, November, and February, <laughs> I believe. Uh, I feel like I'm put on the spot there. And um, you get to choose, I believe, five out of the eight products yourself, where BoxyCharm, I think you only get to pick two out of the five and ipsy you get to pick one out of the five so these are eight full-size products that i'm about to reveal to you um, this is also gifted to me by ipsy uh, they sent it to me in pr monthly so thank you ipsy for allowing me to um, share what i have and i also love to do try on videos so stay tuned for that if there's anything specifically that you want me to deep dive into after this video just leave it in the comments and i'll take note but in the meantime, I won't waste any more of your time. Let's dig in. Okay, so on top, we have this month's feature flyer. Of course, we have Patrick Starr on the front cover. I believe these are some of the options, or maybe they're the only options, I don't know, of um, what you could be receiving in your um, icon box. I'm a little bit bummed that they aren't including the setting spray. I've just always wanted to try it. I should probably just buy it because I've heard amazing things about the one size setting spray that you can pretty much swim in. Not that I go swimming ever, but let's dig in because I am extremely excited and impatient and I'm just dying to see what I got. My first item, um, another Biro product. I've been receiving them like monthly lately. Uh, this is the Biro Basil Dark Spot Correcting Cream. A hydrating lightweight cream infused with a concentrated blend of basil and profade complex for luminous skin. This is what the packaging looks like. So it is plastic and it's got a little pumper on the top. Is she going to come out? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. I don't know why, but I was not expecting it to be the same color as the bottle. It's unfragranced and it feels very luxurious, soft. I can't really say much about it because it's skincare. It's not going to do anything overnight. I don't really have any dark spots to take care of, so that may be gifted to a friend or family. But yeah, I still think this is a very high quality, gorgeous product. Next up we have, oh shoot! Okay, this is my first thing from Fenty. I've never tried Fenty Beauty besides their perfume. I love their perfume. Um, if you didn't know, I'm a huge fragrance girl and I'm hoping to film my first um, fragrance YouTube video in the near future if that interests you at all. So I received Fenty Icon The Case and Fenty Icon The Fill Semi Matte Lipstick. These... For less waste, they are, you can purchase this Fenty case. Ooh, it sounds so good. It's like metal. Um, they're reusable or whatever. And then that way you're only buying the actual lipstick when you run out and less in the landfill. So I'm all about that. You're probably going to open it. Insert fill bullet first into open end of case, press to secure, and now it's stuck inside. I did it wrong. Now I put my lipstick in there with the lid on and I can't get it out. I'll have to get my husband to get some pliers. So <laughs> stay tuned. I'll film the lipstick after. I'm so embarrassed that I might have broke that. A 
Okay, so I managed to get it out. I just use a knife. Um, and this is the shade. I'm like a whole chaotic mess now. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to get this into this properly um, by actually reading the directions. For the case, it says the best case scenario for an icon. And the lipstick shade is Mother Lova number four. And it is a nude, which I'm actually, I really wanna try this on, but I have lipstick on right now. Anyway, I'm gonna figure out the assembly so I don't get it stuck in the case again. <laughs> Next up from Kosas, I have a Grow Potion, Fluffy Brow and Lash Boosting Serum. I've never tried anything by Kosas and nor have I ever tried a brow or a lash serum. So both are exciting. That's a super pretty. Um, so this is, I'm assuming, Okay, so it's a doe foot applicator. That was not what I was expecting. I was thinking it was going to be like a little spoolie or something. It smells like medicine. It's not pleasant, but yeah, I'm assuming you just apply on your eyebrows and your eyelashes. I guess I shouldn't assume. Let's read. <laughs> a clean two-in-one brow and lash boosting serum powered by peptides and vegan keratin that accelerate the appearance of fuller feathery brows and longer thicker lashes. Apply nightly. Use the flatter side of the applicator to coat the entire brow area. Angle the pointed tip to apply along the top lash line. Avoid applying near the inner corner and inside the waterline. Hmm. The inner corner is where my lashes need the most work. Like, I feel like these guys are just little stubbies. I wonder why you can't use it there. Maybe just so you don't get it in your eye. I don't know. You'd think that it'd be safe to be using around your eye if you're using it on the hairs that grow around your eye, but... Regardless, also excited to try a product that I have never tried before, nothing like it. So pumped for that. Also, I've been seeing this and I am very excited for this. This is SPF 30 Baby Oil, Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen Oil by Vacation. Part of the reason why I'm really excited about this is Vacation it has been on my radar for quite some time. They actually make a perfume that supposedly smells like sunscreen and the beach and the pool and all things. Oh, I was hoping this was going to be fragranced. <laughs> it is not. Anyway, but still, I have wanted to try their products for some time, but they don't ship their perfume to Canada or their aerosol sprays because they have a really cool like foaming um, sunscreen that looks like whipped cream or whatever, but because it's aerosol, I don't think they ship that to Canada either. Maybe that'll change in the future, but regardless, I finally get to try something from the brand. So um, it might be a, still a few months <laughs> before I start using this in Alberta, but um, kind of a cool product to uh, introduce this to in the icon box. Next up, ooh, she's wrapped up good. <laughs> this is so cute. What is this? Uh, wow, it's glass. It's also, again, the periwinkle purple. It's so pretty. Uh, a purifying cleansing gel. Okay, so this is from Dermalactives Elastin and Collagen Rejuvenation. So this is a purifying cleansing gel. This incredibly gentle, alcohol-free cleansing gel purifies the skin by lifting and removing makeup, oil-based debris, and impurities. A calming combination of minerals, aloe vera, arctium, kappa root, and fruit extracts actively refresh, cleanse, soften, and smooth the skin. Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love getting cleansers because if there's one thing I do more often than apply makeup, it's wash it off or wash my face. This, it's amazing how many pumps you have to do to get it going sometimes. Any day now. Is it gonna come out? Did you send me a bottle? 2,000 years later. Oh my God, I'm cramping up. Why can't I get anything? There we go, oh my God. Smells clean, citrusy, kind of lemony. Ooh, she thick. It looks like glue, like the consistency of white glue. 
Oh, I like it. Oh my God. I'm almost out of my <clears throat> La Hendrickson um, face wash that I have been using for probably three months now. So I'm probably going to be adding this to my face wash routine in the very near future. Um, again, very luxe, very gorgeous. Maybe something I'll do that I haven't done before is pop up the price of these products because I feel like this is expensive and I've never even heard of it before. But the bottle feels very luxe. It's gorgeous. And man, that smells so spa-like. Ah, uh, I wish you could smell it. Okay. So I also received Professional, a brand I am familiar with. I love their Professional. um, no pores or poreless primer. That's what it's called. I'm not using it currently, but I have in the past and I love it. Ooh, okay. It's like a, an aluminum, <clears throat> excuse me, an aluminum um, container or whatever you want to call this. Quick smoothing pore mask. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. And like, I don't know if you can tell in these videos, but I do have enlarged pores. I always have. I used to have acne prone skin. And since my visit with a dermatologist about a year ago, I finally, whoo, since my visit with a dermatologist about a year ago, I finally cleared up. I had some like, I think it was hormonal acne, but it was like all under here. And I don't know why I was breaking out. But anyway, I got that cleared up and sorted and I hardly ever break out. I get the odd pimple, especially around my period, but my skin has been skinning. It looks so good and I'm so happy, but I still have enlarged pores. I think it's just because I have oily skin and they may always be like that. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I thought about maybe going to get a facial done. I've never done that. <laughs> anyway, back to uh, back to the show. So this is a mask, as we talked about. <laughs> um, smooth skin instantly and over time. Pores look instantly refined. Celery and flaxseed extracts help visibly improve skin texture. Apply to kit. Apply to clean, dry face and neck. Wait three to five minutes or until mask fully changes color. Rinse. Use two to three times a week or as desired. Okay, so I'm assuming it's like your typical mud mask. It's also a nice little minty green. So, okay, we're going to get that lid back on before that starts oozing out. That's the one downside I feel like with these like um, aluminum containers. I do like them. Um... But I find like if it gets a little bit dented, like it seems to have in shipping or whatever, um, when stuff starts coming out, you can't get it back in where I don't know if you do this little trick that I do, but on like a, a plastic one that will like open itself back up. If I release too much product, I will like get the air out and then suck it back in. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you can't do that with these. So I don't want to waste any. Um, I'm excited for that. I like masks. I like skincare. I love makeup. I, I just love it all. I love it all. I'm so happy to be here and to be trying all these things. And last but not least, my two one size products are the first one is Point Made Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Pen in Busty Brown. Okay. I don't think I have a liquid eyeliner in brown, so excited to add this to my collection if I can open it I'm like why are these childproof or whatever <clears throat> so here's the one size packaging for this liquid eyeliner and I don't think there's much for me to describe like I kind of like the handle there is the felt tip and we're going to do like a little line here. Yeah, that's pretty pigmented. I like that it's dark brown, but like it's obviously brown. Like I received brown mascara in my last boxy charm, I think it was. And I won't lie, it looks black on my lashes. It looks black. That's okay. Like it's still very usable. Obviously black works for everybody. But I was curious to see what brown mascara would look like on my eyes. They're kind of like a greenishy, hazily brown. And I just didn't notice a difference, which was kind of unfortunate. 
but that's my truth. Okay, and lastly, I received, this is called the Lip Snatcher Velvet Flex Cream and Cushion Gloss Lip Duo. I got a lot of lip products this month and I'm not mad at it. Um, this is in the shade Be About It, or I guess I should say shade Z, because on the end here, it's showing like a neutral creamy color and then a pinky gloss. So, oh, this is so cool. Look at that. You'll have to let me know your thoughts on one size products and if you, if you have tried them. Um, I don't know why I haven't. I just haven't. So, okay, what are we doing here? Luxurious and weightless. Both formulas work to enhance the look and feel of lips, addressing texture to help smooth, soften, and hydrate. To use, choose your lip personality of the day. <laughs> twist off cap and apply to lips using the wand. So I'm just going to swatch on my hand because I already have lip product on. Okay. So the lip gloss smells like as I'm sure you've smelled this before. I feel like a lot of lipsticks these days smells like vanilla cupcakes or like buttercream cupcakes or something. And that's exactly what that smells like. So that is, Oh, that's really pigmented. Uh, okay. Okay. I see you, Patrick. Then this is the Velvet Flex Cream. I, I really like this little handle thingy. Anyway, ooh, that was a cool sound. And then this. Okay, that's super cool too. Damn. Same scent for that. I kind of want to. That was probably a bad choice. So you can see that this is like sort of mattifying as it dries down and I'm sure this is going to stay glossy. So overall, um, as usual, I'm quite pleased with my Icon box. Um, as I said, I've never tried one size products. So this was really fun for me to receive some new um, products that I've never tried before. And as I said, I'm also new to Fenty which is kind of sad, but I'm super pumped to figure out my lipstick and put that on too. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, um, maybe what you received if you do get an icon box. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I hope you have a fabulous day and I hope to see you again. Take care.